I wanted to do the Cotswold Cup qualifiers and championships this year with Charlie. And that's still true. However, good morning. Welcome back to a slightly different video today in the sense that there are no horses today. I wanted to do a little update video on my plans for the rest of the year and I thought it would be a good idea to do it whilst I'm going through the aftermath of um, Forest of Dean on Sunday because everything is filthy. I asked for some questions on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and on Reddit and I have a few questions to answer but the first thing I'm going to do before I start looking at those is actually clean my bit. So I'm going to use some boiling water and just let it soak while I do everything else. Now I would usually, if I've got quite a few bits to clean, I do usually just chuck them in the washing machine. No, the dishwasher, don't put them in the washing machine. Um, and they actually clean up really, really well. Um, I like to use nice and hot water if I'm cleaning them by hand because obviously it does kill a lot of the bacteria. And if I am cleaning bits for uh, bit fittings, I'll also use like Milton or Hibby scrub. Um, just to be extra sure that they're all clean. So I'll let that soak and before I do anything else, I shall have a look at some questions. So I had a couple of questions come in after I had actually recorded the video, but I still want to answer them. So I'm gonna do that now. Where do you live on earth that is so beautiful? We're very lucky that where the horses are is as you say, very, very pretty. It's a really, really nice place. We're in South Wales in the Wye Valley and that area in general is just really, really lovely. And we have such nice places to hack and you're just surrounded by this really, really nice scenery. The next question is, what are your beautiful horses' names? So I'm gonna go through everybody because obviously that makes sense. So firstly, we have Gabby, who is the little liver chestnut. Then we have Georgia, who is Gabby's full sister. Then we have Beanie, who is my mum's pony and is actually half sister to Georgia and Gabby. They have the same dad. Then we have Dusty, who is a little grey section A. She's only about 12 hands, but I think she's about 15 hands. Then there's Sunny, section C, our little buckskin, who's just constantly in trouble and is always looking for things to do. He gets bored very, very easily. So he's just in the path of destruction constantly. Then the bigger ones, see we have Charlie, who is the little skewbald coloured pony. He's about 13 to 13 3. Then we have the bigger coloured, who is Triple, who I think is about 15 to 15 3. Uh, I haven't measured him for a long time and I can't remember what he was. <laughs> and then lastly, we have Naz, who is my chestnut Arab, who is not much smaller than Triple actually and probably Pushing 15 too. She's gotten quite a bit bigger than I had hoped for. That's all of the ponies. So we can go on to the rest of the video. What are your horse's favorite treats? Now, their favorite treats are probably things that they shouldn't have, but they do all love bananas. Um, they get bananas kind of semi-regularly. Naz quite likes pears as well, more so than an apple. She'd rather have a pear over an apple, definitely. But for training wise, I tend to just use the like Bailey's, I think it's the Bailey's fibre nuggets you can get in a big bag for 15 quid, I think it is, for like a 15 or 20 kilo bag. It's not bad for value for money and they last ages. But yeah, if you haven't tried your horse with bananas, definitely give them a go. A lot of horses really, really like bananas, especially if they are kind of on their last legs because they're quite sweet then. But what ages are all your horses? Well, Gabby is our oldest now. So she's 15 this year. I got her when she was four. Um, so she's she's been around for a while now. Um, then I think... Georgia, who is Gabby's sister, is just a year younger than her. So I think she's 14. <laughs> then I think Triple is either, oh God. He's either 12 or he's 13. I can't remember if he's a year or two years younger than Georgia. And that's them turning that age this year. Um, so technically, so it's only the, well, it's not quite the end of March yet. So they haven't had birthdays just yet. Then, so triple, then I think, I think it's Dusty and Sunny next. Dusty and Sunny are both 
the same age, although Sunny was quite a late fall. So Sunny's birthday isn't until August. I think he was an accident from what I remember, um, which just sums him up perfectly. But they are both 11 this year, I believe. I've had Dusty since she was three and I've had Sunny since he was just turned four. Um, so it just seems like they're getting old. <laughs> So yeah, they're 11 this year, then Charlie is 10 this year, and then it's Naz who's eight this year, um, who's kind of the baby of the group that's not so much baby anymore. So we've got a, a reasonably wide range of ages, so 15, 14, 12 or 13, two that are 11, 10 and an eight year old. I should point out as well that I kind of miss Beanie out because she's mum's pony and I didn't include her. Um, but Beanie is the same age as Charlie and she's going to be 10 this year as well. And they're all kind of at very, very different levels in their, I don't want to say their career, but in their ridden work. When will you start jumping Charlie? So, the idea was at the start of the year, um, obviously to bring him back into work quietly and sensibly and we've done that and now I'm just kind of I've been aiming for the endurance ride so I've been doing a lot of hacking um, as a priority to kind of get get his fitness up and that's definitely happened he's nice and fit now and we're doing a bit more canter work which is what I wanted to do I wanted to make sure he was happy in the saddle kind of in more forward paces which he's been absolutely great which is brilliant on Sunday when this video hopefully goes out um, hopefully I'll have be taking him to arena hire just across from us to go and use some of their jumps we don't have many jumps at home we've got a couple of sets of wings and I've got some more poles now but I'm still in the middle of painting a lot of them I haven't done a huge amount at home with him for that reason we have jumped a little bit in the woods when we've come across some small little logs and he's been really really keen um, which is great because I did wonder how bold he was going to be cross country whether he would even be able to do it and obviously that still <laughs> he still might not be just jumping a couple of logs in the wood obviously is not the same as going cross country and jumping a full cross country course um, <laughs> so there's still that potential but yeah my intention is to take him this weekend um, and just pop him over some nice inviting little um, fences. I mean, just to see where, where he is at really. Um, he's only jumped once, apart from those couple of times in the woods, he's only jumped once in an arena with someone on him and it wasn't even me. Um, so <laughs> we need to kind of both pull our fingers out um, and get him over some fences. I'm not sure what he's gonna think of them. Obviously I'm not gonna be worried about fillers or anything like that just yet. I just want to get him learning how to pick his feet up, um, basically, and not kill us both. So yeah, actually, my intention is to do that quite soon. And then I'm hoping once that's kind of going and the ball's rolling with that and we're both getting our confidence up with the jump in, um, is to go and do some cross country hire next month kind of sooner rather than later really and see how he gets on with that so yeah we're a little bit behind with what i had intended to do this year but i'll come to that in a minute oh my knee ow will you be going to off church so this is what i wanted to do the update video on because obviously at the start of the year i made a nice little trailer video i cleaned that um, a nice little trailer video about the fact that I wanted to do the Cotswold Cup qualifiers and championships this year with Charlie. And that's still true. However, obviously there's no way, Off Church is this weekend, is Sunday. Um, and as I just said, I haven't even jumped him yet. So no, in short, I'm not going to Off Church, but there's a few more reasons other than that why. And ooh, that was a couple of weeks ago that I kind of actually probably more than a few weeks ago, about a month ago, that I kind of made the decision that we weren't going to be going to off church. And the main reason for that is that they've kind of changed the way that they're running the 70 centimetres um, championship. So last year, the 70 centimetre ran differently to the 80, 90, 100, um, because they were all done as a points accumulation. But the 70 was done that 
Um, if you placed first to tenth in any of the competitions, you qualified and the championship was run in July, so it was a bit earlier um, than the other uh, championships which were run in September at Sirencester. So it's now being run points as well, which is fine. Again, I completely understand why the change, because otherwise, you know, you could go to off church next week, you could do one round, come first, and you've guaranteed yourself that you've qualified for the championships. And obviously these events cost a lot to run, so they want to make sure they've got the entries. So doing it as a point system makes sense. However, I can't afford to go to every single competition and try and qualify on a pony that might not even jump the first fence. And, you know, it's a little bit more expensive this year. Everything's gone up cost-wise. So the entries are about £100 um, an entry, give or take. Um, so obviously that makes a difference as well for a lot of people. Oh, I've got to put this back together now. With that in mind, I thought, oh, well, maybe we'll just do a couple of them. Um, and you know, if we qualify, we qualify, great. The other change was that instead of running the championships at, or in July, um, they had moved it to run with Sirencester as well in September, which on paper sounds great. Um, it was still being run as a one day event, not three day um, like the other classes do, but it meant that they were running the championship classes as arena cross country and to be quite honest with you i don't want to pay however much money you know potentially six seven hundred pound in entry fees to qualify for the championships to then go and jump an arena high up uh, an arena cross country rather than actual cross country you know and i know i'm not the only one that was a bit disappointed with that and that's kind of made some people's decisions on what they're going to do. I mean, it does kind of encourage people to do the bigger classes, which is great, but there's no way I was going to be doing that this year. So yeah, so in short, kind of, we are going to aim for something slightly different instead. We're going to try and go to Pontispool in September for the Cotswold Cup and just aim to do that one. It's the closest venue to us, because that was the other thing, is that so many of these venues this year were a lot, lot further away than they were last year. So, yeah, we're gonna aim for Pontispool in September. I think it's the 9th and 10th, so I would imagine the 70 is probably on the, Sat uh, on the Sunday, because um, the others have been. And what we're actually gonna aim to do instead is Ace Cross Country in Tewkesbury, which is much closer for us. It's still a good drive, but it's much, much closer than Off Church and Waverton and Hazelton Manor that are literally hundreds of miles away. Yeah, they've got a, it's not a one day event, but they've got kind of an uh, eventers challenge sort of thing um, once a month from April all the way through to September. Don't know whether they run them as like little qualifiers themselves, I'm not sure. Um, but the idea is I'm gonna aim to take Charlie there. They start a little bit smaller as well. So if by April I think, oh, we could, maybe can't quite manage a 70, but we could wing it round a 60, then at least I've got that option as well. That's the intention now is that, oh, I get him ready for those instead. And I kind of treat them as our Cotswold Cup, effectively. I am disappointed because I, I would have really liked to have done it, but it's just all those little factors um, have made me kind of go, oh, I don't know if that's right for us this year. But if things go well this year with him, and you know, he's doing really well, um, we get to Pontispool, he jumps well and does well at Pontispool, then next year, I would be happier to give it a go and maybe even do the 80 um, so that we can do proper cross country at the end of the year. But yeah, that, that was the main update from today that I wanted to kind of go over. Oh my God, look at the state of this. So I completely forgot that my camera only records 20 minutes. So <laughs> I've missed me cleaning my girth, um, which basically all I said was once I've cleaned my bit in the hot water, then I just use the same water then to clean this, obviously I want to do it that way around so that the bit's not sitting in manky horrible water. Right, on to the saddle. So, I didn't say at the start, but I'm using the oldest saddle cleaner or leather cleaner ever. We've had this for a year, it's literally rusty. 
Um, it is nearly empty and I'll have to find something else to use but we've always used this and I just really really like it. I don't think this saddle's actually been cleaned since I bought it so it could do with a very 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 good scrub um, and then I've got something else to clean the Numna with before that goes in the wash but we'll do the saddle first. So something else someone asked me the other day was you know what are my plans for everyone else obviously I've talked a lot about Charlie in the last few months um, he's kind of taken the limelight which is fine it's really nice um, and the main reason that I haven't been riding anyone else is because I've been a little bit heavy for the other ponies but I'm now back down to a weight where I can start bringing them back into work so yeah basically Dusty this year um, well this time last year Dusty was incredibly fit um, and looked really 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 good because we were doing Pembray in the end of April. That stinks. It was our first graded ride. Um, this is really sticky and we got a grade one. She went round like she just stomped around the whole thing really really good but this year so she's taken a bit of a back seat. Um, I'm not intending doing any graded rides with her this year. Um, there's only a few that I'm kind of happy to do with her anyway because of the going and I don't want anything that's too hilly because she is she's 12 hands you know at the end of the day and I know there are ponies that have done like two stars and whatever that are 12, 12, 2 but she's not quite built for that so I want to be careful with her basically there's only a few graded rides I can do obviously we're going to miss Pembray Forrester Dean actually would have been a nice one for her I'd never done it before so I didn't know but now I do and then there's a couple of others Siren Sester, uh, Michael Church, Bonham um, and I think that's it really so I'm gonna leave the graded rides for her this year but I will still do some pleasure rides I've got plenty that I'd like to do with her but really what I would like to do this year is get her back doing some cross country I'd like to take her to some of the events alongside Charlie for a bit of moral support and do some events again especially seeing that you know Tempe Green have got lots of smaller classes on because I wouldn't like to do above uh, 60 on her she's perfectly capable of jumping higher than that but I don't think it's fair when she's having to carry me to ask her to do that basically oh my god there's mud under here yeah that's our plan so I'm gonna start bringing her back into work this week which you'll see a video on at some point similar to what I did with Charlie when I brought him back into work and just go in from there basically you know she loves the cross country she has always loved to jump and now that I've finally got her old saddle fitted back to her we can jump again so we're back in the little Kent the Masters which isn't my favorite saddle in the world but I've refitted it for her it's Gabby's saddle as well so they have to share unfortunately but luckily i don't tend to ride those two at the same time with that in mind actually my plans with gabby this year again i'm intending to start bringing her back into work in the next few weeks i would like to do some more fun rides with her this year she really enjoyed that she's never done that before because she doesn't like to hack or at least she doesn't like to hack on her own so I kind of thought why on earth would I ever take her to a fun ride but she really enjoyed it and she was like so good and again she would actually make a nice endurance pony if she was happier to go on her own she's not um, quite as brave and bold as the others Ooh, just turn this round so yeah my intention with her is bring her back into work do a little bit of hacking when I've got company and I can hack her and to pick up the dressage again well I haven't actually competed at all apart from the endurance since 2019 so I took Sunny and Gabby to I think it was brooms in the summer of 2019 and that was the last thing I did I haven't really got back into it since then which is a shame because you know I've always enjoyed the dressage and so does Gabby so that is my intention this year with her is to get her back back in the dressage ring um, back doing what she likes and I'm determined I've said it for the last like three years determined to finally do an elementary on her I have put it off and put it off and put it off um, for not really any good reason to be honest you know now's the time if 
it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. So that is my plan for her this year. I just, that is a big, be a big tick off the list because it's been on the list for a very long time. And so I've just put it off and put it off. Yeah, we need to do it this year. So the others, um, I don't really have any proper plans um, for them apart from just get them riding. I want to do the same with Naz and Triple that I have done with Charlie this year in the sense of getting them walking out in hand, doing a little bit, then getting them hacking and just going from there. So yeah, oh Sunny as well, oh god poor Sunny. I think he just needs very consistent work and if he's not in it he's a nightmare. The last two years I've actually joined the horse agility club with him and never entered any competitions. <laughs> so again, that's even if that's all I do with him this year that'd be great but I would like to bring him back into work as well. It's just hard trying to manage everybody and everyone's kind of almost at the same point apart from Dusty and Gabby and now Charlie who are moving on a little bit. Everyone else is kind of back at the beginning so it, it's really tough trying to be consistent with them and fitting everybody in. But yeah, so that's kind of my plans for this year as a very generic, but also very drawn out video that, you know, no no Cotswold Cup for Charlie now, um, no graded rides for Dusty, but cross country, bit of eventing, still some endurance rides, hopefully some dressage and hopefully bringing the babies back into work. I just wanted to update and didn't really know the best way to do it um, because I know I had made some big promises to myself about going to the Cotswold Cup and going to Off Church and I knew there might be a couple of questions as to well why didn't you go or why aren't you going so yeah I just wanted to clear that up. Hopefully I shall see you all in the next one.